Hi guys and welcome to my channel Tarot Lumière. I draw every week in Jag Tarot cards um, and I do readings uh, by uh, Zodiac Sign uh, and this reading is for Virgo for the week of April 4th uh, through the 10th and let's focus on what um, Virgo need to focus their energy on this week. So Virgo, so far we have travel, yoga, and builder. Okay. So this week you may be asked to travel for work, for leisure. Who knows? You let me know. <laughs> um, yeah. So whatever you are asked to do. It may be short distance travel, it may be long distance travel here, uh, this guy is in an in airport, or you, you could be on, traveling on the road. Um, again, it's a general reading, so if it doesn't uh, resonate with you, that's okay. Um, may resonate with other Virgo. Um, so yeah, focus on that this week and accept any traveling uh, requests. <laughs> then you have yoga. Who knows why? You need to balance your energy this week. You need to be in that state of relaxation um, to connect with your inner self. Uh, you really feel the need to recenter to be centered uh, this week and it could be yoga but it could be uh, stretching or exercising whatever you like to do it could be dancing you know you know every any uh, sport uh, gives you that ability to reconnect with yourself to quiet the mind and be in that state of you know gives you insights on what you're supposed to do in your life. So yeah, go for it this week. And we have the Builder card, which says that you need to lay down the foundation for a new project, a new life. Um, or you may have to build something, like physically get into it and build something material. Uh, are you building a house or are you building a cabinet? <laughs> um, it's this card is really about creation, creating something. Um, and it gives you a sense of accomplishment. So yeah, this week focuses on building things. Let's see what's gonna happen for you this week. Virgo, who it's asking you to have patience. You planted the seeds and now you need to wait. Oh, this one I never drew. That's cool. Prosperity rising from wise planning. Again, you planned and you need to balance things in your life. Okay, let's look into that. Um, have patience and wa wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So you've been working on something lately and you planted the seeds and now you have to wait. Be patient because the fruit of your labor is not going to come out of the ground right away. And then we have this card. So, hmm, that person is waiting on the dock with a lot of luggage, <laughs> uh, ready to embark on a boat. So the card says, prosperity arising from wise planning, time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. Well, that's cool. Okay, so you're ready to move 
to the next step of your project that you've been building. And then balance. It's important to have balance. Maybe you've been working multiple jobs. Uh, you've been working hard planting your seeds. And um, jobs or projects uh, at once. And yeah, you need more balance and to have fun balancing all these things. And then, uh, what's the attitude uh, regarding these situation? Fair decision. You feel like life hasn't been fair to you but it's going to feel like life is fair to you now okay keep doing what you're doing need to do some healing work oh that's why healing work uh, doing some forgiving and yeah, you really need to be at peace to, okay, maybe you feel like things are not fair because you've been waiting for the harvest and it's not happening yet. So do some yoga, do some exercise, put your mind at rest and, you know, focus on the good things and relax, kick back, um, stay centered, it's gonna come your way, just because you're not looking at the big picture, so you're worrying, but there's nothing to worry about, okay, um, also, you need to keep busy and to do things uh, with fun it's also telling you to be to do things with fun um, in a fun way um, yeah this card is about that um, busy uh, enthusiastic do things with a smile okay and then we have, this card is about talking, uh, being a focused person for a cause, close to your heart, um, having a positive attitude and fresh ideas, and also this person could be you. Maybe emotionally unavailable. So you may be called upon to be a focused person. So you may have to talk to someone. Talk to a group or talk to someone. And if you don't know how to do that, just ask your angels, ask your spiritual guides to give you the right words. Okay? All right, uh, well, that's it for you, Virgo. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep uh, watching these videos, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful, beautiful week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.